Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to prepare the bar chart for these three tables. But before that, I think last video we have missed this uh, branch wise employee count. So we'll prepare that employee count first. Then we'll prepare the graphs. So we'll we'll go with this one branch wise. We have unique branches. Seven branches are there. I will use the same information here. Copy paste branch. number of employees yes so to get the number of employees list we are using count if function okay so equal to count if in the branch i want to know charger so that means 203 employees are there so this is a dynamic cell so i can scroll down I will get all the department the employee count again I will show I am using count if among the branches that is your branch name range then only of this cell whatever mentioned in that particular cell I want to get the employee count of that branch so Sharjah branch is then I will hit enter and get 203 since 203 employees are there in charge so since that g26 is not locked cell i can drag drag down if i drag it down it will become g27 that means abu dhabi i will get similarly yeah, other branch so this is not a dynamic branch uh, cell a dynamic information means i don't want to get it changed this is the static information or fixed information overall company level so this will be i will uh, name it in uh, this color only so that uh, yeah so this is the static information i don't want to get it changed so these things as the employee name changes this information will not change okay so i want to show it in a chart so i will select the cell i will go to insert there is one beautiful chart called as tree map the so tree map will give again highest to lowest it will give the uh, indication so if I click on that you can see Abu Dhabi as per the count it itself it itself uh, uh, create a hierarchy highest to lowest sometime so in the yeah in the dashboard we don't want these legends and all because it's this cell itself shows which branches and all so i will remove these uh, access names um, recolor legends and all chart title also not required so but this graph is having a background a shape color so i will click on this one i will go to format shape fill remove fill so now you can see in the background the grid lines so the white background was there earlier I have removed it so only these transparent colors are enough now now this one you can see and anywhere I move out background color uh, background colors are visible so only these colors will be there so, but I don't know how many employees are there in Abu Dhabi and all so I will click on these cell names okay I will click on these uh, names then right click format data labels okay this window will open on the right side right hand side so yeah so first you have to click on this name right click format data label it category name and value now it shows the employee count so you can see here there is a hierarchy 233 222 220 210 203 198 184 so in this range if you reduce the uh, this one also if you increase the size accordingly it will distribute so there is a hierarchy okay so as per the highest to lowest it will distribute the boxes so you need not do any higher uh, uh, sorting of this uh, higher to lower here if the graph itself do the thing so this is for uh, this we are going to place here in our dashboard so that is our uh, this is our tree map okay so one graph is done next one so we are having slot only two graphs here 
so we'll prepare the bar chart and relevant information only we'll put it so department wise data is there already so nation wise but you can see only two nations are there and um, so nation related thing we need not better not go for that because only two nation information it's not uh, that much important here so we'll go with only um, department wise and branch wise graphs okay so i will select this graph as i mentioned earlier we are you going to use bar charts so we are having uh, this is column or bar charts we are going to use this one first 3d column okay so this is for our department one okay so everything need not be shown in dashboard so sick leaves important but these ranges are not required so i will remove this access uh, labels background there is a grid line that is also okay it is removable one okay, i think in 3d okay sales in uh, department is first oh, okay yeah so grid lines we will remove it Okay, I will go back to the other shapes. I uh, will go change the chart type. I think it's not working for time being. We will uh, go with the North 3D. Simple bar chart only I will select. Yeah. Okay, this grid I will remove. So I will change since they are different criteria. They are not related to each other. So this one will be sales as it is. So this one I uh, will keep it as it is uh, but we don't know the values so I will click on plus symbol here data labels okay data label it is showing within that cell so I will I want to show it at the end no not end okay each one is having different uh, if you move it outside manually it will go yes we we'll move it manually sometime there is automatically it will be there options will be there depending on the type of bar charts you select i didn't get that option here yeah. so then here there is a blank space decrease the font size of this I will bring it ok yeah. so this is the graph again you can see white background is there I will select keep the click on the border of the graph go to format shape fill no fill now you can see the grid lines in the back because here we are already having the backgrounds so that is better to remove that for a designing point of view now these three are different informations these are in days this is in amount so they are not related so they need not be in the same color so you can uh, double okay first when you click on the bar all three bar get selected again you click on the same bar so only that bar will get selected I want to change the color I will go to shape fill I will give the maroon color again here I will click on the second one shape fill give the yellow color third one shape fill dark yes. so then I will uh, decrease the yeah well so since the access labels again I will check whether the data labels are data call out so, I 
heading i will reduce the font i'll keep it uh, here sales okay still you can see if i click it outside one light border line is there that also i don't want to show it in a dashboard so click on that border shape outline no now you can see there is no border nothing but only values are there so this is again to check whether it is dynamic or not we will change the employee name it was in sales department now it is in hr now you can see hr dashboard is come okay hr department table is there similarly if i okay, i will zoom out in real time you can see R&D, can see 2.33 here. Now it is 2.37. So this is what you can see because major changes you can't see because uh, average lease leaves are in 8 and 10 only majority. So again 8 and 10 you are getting. So that's what because of the fraction we have converted. If you are showing it in decimals, suppose if I no, it is not required only a number of days you all been full days only 7.9 per doesn't make any sense but to show the changes i will i'm reducing it yeah 8.06 10.05 that means they are working so that means our graph is proper now again same similar graph for branch wise so nation wise i am avoiding it not required though we have prepared the importance wise i am not going to uh, them. so i will uh, put it in black color so that i avoid that okay so this is one branch department wise now the branch wise i will select these branches i will go to insert i will go to all charts okay this one only i will select okay i got this bar chart one is in uh, vertical the one more in horizontal so that will be better to avoid uh, okay, I'll zoom in why I'm reducing the size because in dashboard we are having limited space that's why I am reducing the size of that so first we'll remove the background grid lines that is not required these things are not required only this is enough yeah now again we want to see the data labels yeah. it comes automatically outside the graph so we need not reposition them so this is about the mumbai branch so we will reduce the font size so that so if you click on this you can see inner one more column is there yeah increase the size of those little bit of designing is required it as per your convenience you can design them okay i will again i will change the font uh, sorry shape fill okay again uh, the Border formatting I have to do. Shape fill will be nil. Shape border will be no outline. Now we can see transparent one. So this one, these things, the font color and all. After placing in dashboard, you can change them. So this is how the graph looks. One is Mumbai, one is uh, dep uh, yeah, department wise branch. So these are the three graphs. I will place them here. So these three are the graph we are going to put it in dashboard here so you can see three places i have kept for the dash uh, graphs usually hr dashboard will be full of graphs and uh, this one but uh, here since i want employee related i want to focus more on individual employees so i have kept the space for employee matrices uh, employee engagement related uh, uh, factors then uh, and company information company level 
So that's why only three crops at company level I'm going to put it. Then uh, in next video we are going to prepare the donut chart. So these things are done now. So this one is over. In next video we are going to prepare donut chart.